Happy weekend, everybody. It's James. I'm on the road with my beautiful wife, Jamie. Happy weekend. And we are heading to Santa Barbara. And uh, I just got hit with uh, a little bit of an inspiration. I want to talk about this idea of trying something new, okay? Uh, because all of us living today in 2018, we're not just one thing anymore. We're many things. We're hyphenates, okay? Some of us may be graphic designers and fathers and entrepreneurs and mothers and artists and performers and business women and leaders and thinkers and writers. So we are many things. And I think a lot of times when we attempt new things, there's a lot of people out there who will sort of try to knock you down, you know? And whenever you try to shine your light doing something, attempting something, trying to make something new, there are people out there who will comment. They themselves are not creating anything new. They will just kind of comment, you know? There's this sort of like 80-20 rule that in whatever your field you're in, whatever sporting event, whatever team that you're in, there's always 20% of the people that are doing the work and then there's 80% of the people that are observing or commenting on the work, you know? Whether they like it, they don't like it, whatever. And I think it's even more so in the world. And the reason this came up because, you know, I think about, yeah, what's going on everybody? I'm so glad that you're joining in. Um, I remember back in the day, there's a program called Entertainment Tonight. It's still on today, but back in the day, this guy John Tesh and Mary Hart used to co-host, okay? Like, I was like a little kid and I, I grew up watching, you know what I mean? These segments, you know, and they talk about Hollywood and I was like, man, you know, Hollywood felt like this sort of like this far away fairy land. But I remember when John Tesh retired from that position because he said he wanted to go and follow his true passion, which was music. And, you know, I think he was composing and conducting and he was a professional piano player and like amazing, like professional level. But I remember people laughed, laughed for the fact that he kind of gave up this cushy hosting job to go and create music, you know, and they said his music was corny or cheesy. Yeah, I want to speak on that for a second. You know what I mean? I want yeah. To speak on that for a second. Hi, everybody. I'm Kyson. Kyson number two. But um, yeah, so I did the same thing. I was in neuroscience. 14 years, got a PhD, and I knew in my soul that music is what I wanted to do. I knew that so deeply, but I never had the courage to really pursue that. I don't know if anybody's out there that's from the Midwest, but it's not usually accepted as a career path. So it took me a while to figure out that's what I wanted to do. Um, but I knew somewhere deep in my soul. And I just wanted to say to everybody out there, when was the moment that you were put in a box? whether that you put yourself in the box or somebody else put you in the box, but when in your life was there a moment where you said, I'm not a singer, or I'm not an artist, or I'm not a writer, because somebody told you you weren't. And I want you guys to go back to that moment and rewrite the life that you want to write and have a courage to do what your heart's desire is and have a courage to be a doer rather than a commenter. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Um by the way, if you feel like you're more than one thing, just uh, give it a little thumbs up or fist, whatever. If, if you are more than one thing creating multiple things in the world, then, uh, then, then, then I commend you and I love you for that. Um, another example, I remember when uh, Michael Jordan, the first time he retired, you know, after uh, winning three championships as a Chicago Bull, and uh, he went to go play minor league baseball because that was his high school passion and it was a tribute to his father who had just passed away. And uh, I remember so many people were criticizing him. It's like, dude, you were 30 years old, you were at the height of your skills and at the peak of your professional career and you're going to go do attempt something that you're not even good at. And he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. They're like, you can't bet your own weight and just criticizing man. And, um, and ESPN did like a whole uh, amazing 30 by 30 documentary on this called Jordan Rides the Bus. And you see his journey of learning a new sport or sport that he hasn't touched since high school. And within a year, you know, he first he starts off, he's, he's a little rusty, he's clunky, you know, he misses, you know, uh, 
outfield catches and and and, and, and he's, he's batting around 200 and slowly he gets to get better and better and they show his work ethic the same work ethic that he used when he was playing professional basketball he just kind of transferred that and it was very humbling for him because you know this guy multi-millionaire you know one of the most if not the most famous athlete in the world at the time you know riding the bus with everybody else and, and just uh, being humble enough to take on a, a sport that he just was not that good at at the time and uh, and slowly he just gets him better and better and when I saw that it inspired me because I feel like it takes courage to go and try something new. Even when you feel like you've had success in one field, but you have this yearning, this burning desire to, you know, I, I have something else that's kind of like coming up in me and, and I wanna go try it, you know? Yeah, and I uh, wanna say one thing on that too. Yeah, like, if you're feeling this, just uh, just say it with a comment or yay. Yeah, and one thing on this too is like, when you feel that in your heart, think about, Every time you do that, some limiting belief is going to come up. And when that limiting belief comes up, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm not resourced enough, I don't know enough people, think about somebody that did it and use that as a blueprint and use that as an anchor. Somebody that overcame that challenge, exactly the upper limit belief that you have. Find a blueprint of somebody that had that same thing but did it anyways. It's crazy because uh, we saw an amazing video this morning um, where they talked about shining your light and not dimming your light for anybody else. And when you go out and try to create things, try to attempt things, and you're being brave, people will dog on you. There are some people out there who just do nothing but, you know, they want to kind of uh, negate and discourage whatever you're trying to create. And I think those are the times that challenges our passions, our dedication, our desire. And, um, you know, this woman, she had, I think it was Lisa Cole, that had this amazing saying, say, hey, sometimes when you are shining your light, there are people out there who's gonna say, hey, your light is too bright. Your light is too bright. Your light is too bright. And those are the times when you say, I'm not gonna dim my light. I'm not gonna dim my light. Instead, here's a little shade that you could put on, okay? So I wanna encourage you today, if there is something new that you are considering trying, whether that's singing or speaking in public or writing or um, sharing your journey in something, starting a new business, entrepreneur, whatever it is, I wanna commend you and say that is so brave and that is so courageous. And, uh, and if there is anyone out there who are naysayers or discouragers, Part of me says, fuck them. Send them love. Give them a little haterade. Yeah. Give them some haterade. Give them some haterade. But more importantly, shine your light. Do not dim your luminosity. Turn it up. And give them your light even more. Go and do your thing. And do the thing that, and it's okay if you haven't mastered it yet. It's okay if it's not a masterpiece. It's okay if you fail at it or you're not even good at, good at it. The fact that you're giving it a shot, that's a success, okay? I know for me, I am, there are new things that I'm attempting, like um, like spoken word poetry is a passion of mine. I love music, and anytime I share me doing any kind of music, it's scary, playing piano or, you know, um, self-learning the guitar and, and sharing some of that, or singing in public, that's scary for me. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna let you in on my journey. Uh, because at the end of the day, I'm doing it because it's my love and I want to create something new. So, everyone out there who's creating something new, thank you. Thanks for sharing your light. We love you. Uh, if this resonates with you, share or send it to somebody who it can impact. Comment. Uh, give a little thumbs up or a fist or say yeah. And, uh, and share with me and share with us. Uh, anything that uh, you're creating and that you want supported, that you want to share with the world, okay? Yeah, Much love. Yeah, you guys have the courage to stay in the ring, be a doer, not a sayer. Get out there, dare greatly. Don't be on the sidelines. Get in the ring, do what you love to do. Know that when your light gets brighter, more haters are gonna come out. And that's a good sign. That means that your light is getting brighter. So take that as a good sign. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep creating art. Keep shining your light. We love you. We're here for you. We support you. Pisons out.
Love you. Bye.